Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name remains Kola Jepu. Don't forget to follow my channel, like, click, comment, and share. Today we are going to talk about very shortly, quickly. We are going to talk about um, the implications of Tani Eddy's um, interview with BBC. But I'm sure most of you have heard it today. I think it was today or yesterday where he was talking about um, um, Nigerian students coming over the UK, not necessarily coming to school, but um, it's a means of like um, taking all the opportunities, like, you know, chat buying, that's the word. So I'm just here to shed more light on the implications that lies ahead of this. First of all, we are going to look at um, how this is going to disrupt so many genuine people that have um, that have the good intention to come over to the UK to study and um, better their lives and have more opportunity in their careers. Um, this is going to um, put a bad mark on on you know people getting around with that, and we could see how it could affect people from um things like having families having to separate for them to come over here because according to the uk they are thinking of how they are going to um stop people from bringing independence to to move with them along with master's degree when they do their master's degree over here so it is going to put a lot of strains on family imagine where husbands have to live away from their wives or kids have to live away from their mothers or fathers for a very long time we all know how it's already difficult to you know to have like short distances in the first place before they all meet together and you know when they come over as dependent now having to look at it from a longer distance perspective where for a very long period of time um they won't see each other if if they're couples or if they're children or whatever you won't get to see your family to you finish your master's degree and, and hopefully head back home and we all know how this can you know affect families and then we're also going to look at the possible means of um the UK going to increase their school fees just to make it more difficult for people to come over here I mean it's on the probability we're not like 100% sure about it but hey that could happen and um, we're also looking at having um, stricter rules for immigration where you have people submitting more um, higher proof of funds that could be one of the ways to you know deter people from coming to the uk without um a genuine um genuine reason so they might increase they might review the proof of funds make it more expensive and you know it's kind of, it's in some way affect the people who are genuinely coming to study in the uk and we can also look at how all these routes for nigeria will be looked into there's all these routes for nigerians in general might be looked into they might review it they might want to like make all the route or the visa route more um strict for all for nigerians in particular because of this this um very short um comments that or very short um interview that was granted by tammy and you can also look at the fact that um this can also make other countries to to also take key you know it can also make other countries to be aware of what is happening and they might try to close up their borders for nigerians which is not um it's not a good it's not a good thing on our side and he also in general i might say that he also put um the light on nigerian you know making it making us sound terrible making us look like we don't aim for something more um genuine more um how do i put it i'm looking for the best word to put it like aiming for something more um genuine or maybe we are not genuine with our dealings or we are either even coming in here for like the wrong purposes like the wrong purposes and all that which 
on, on the fair note, I don't think that's that's the reason most of uh, the people that come here for master's degree are actually doing that, you know. But hey, it has happened, and these are like the possible um, implications that you know this might cause, and you know, there's nothing much we can say or do. We just hope that things get better. We just hope that whatever decisions they make is not gonna like put put off people that want to still come for masters we hope that is going to create more opportunities in a, in a different way we, we don't expect like it could even make our government that's nigerian government to sit up with whatever they are doing to make um back home more convenient and more um resourceful for our young young youth instead of them to like live all the way to find greener pastures through study or whatever like they, if, if they can make Nigeria a better home, I think that's a better option for people instead of going all the way. And also, I think it can also create avenues for Nigerians to work harder and look inwards and see how they can develop themselves back home in Nigeria. I mean, we can only hope for the best, isn't it? <laughs> then um, we also look at how... Um, this might also stimulate i think this is one of the biggest points so far with everything that has been going on i think this might stimulate the um this might stimulate other countries to like open up their borders for nigerians or maybe other countries at large because then they could see how things are playing out and and um want to open their borders to us maybe it could be through more education uh, routes so it could be more um, providing more job opportunities or just you know a better visa route for others because hey i think there are other countries as well who is looking for um more helping hands you know because if you if, if you check everywhere i mean nigerians are everywhere we are doing so good we have doctors we have nurses we have engineers people that are so good with cyber um everything that has to do with it so um Generally, I don't think um, it's fair to like rule out everybody, you know, I think um, Nigerians can have a better opportunity if other countries open up their borders and this might be something we'll get very soon. You never know, we can only hope for that. And then another point we may look at is um, it may not even take effect. That's you know like this is still ongoing there's still like a debate they're looking at it sometime in january 2024 to apply this rules that's the rule i'm talking about is the ban for master's degrees to come with their dependent master's degree students to come with their dependents so they're looking at sometime in january 2024 this might not even come to pass think about it they might ch decide to change their mind or whatever and lastly what if you look at it this way what if it doesn't change anything? You heard me right. What if it doesn't change little or nothing at all? Hey, we never know. The future is bright. You know, the future is promising. We have so many things. We're still um, looking forward to having a better government with the new, whoever that is incoming um, president of Nigeria could make things more better. We have, uh, we're also looking at other countries open up, opening up their borders for us. You know, there's so many other things that can happen and change the, the, you know, the test of time and, you know, like change the future, something like that. So, hey, we can only stay hopeful, you know, we can only be very hopeful. That's, I think that's what the take out for this video. This is not to blame Tamu for his interview. This is not to blame anyone else, you know, not the government, not the people, you know. This is not just to blame to you know pass blame to anybody but this is just a video more of like a video of hope that things can turn out to our favor and you never can tell let's just be hopeful let's just do our best as humans um as young youths we should get acquainted with whatever is going on in the government we should get um our hands really busy if you're an entrepreneur if you're into it whatever just whatever you're good at just do it well and you never know how you know things might span out let's, let's just be hopeful that this this is only gonna be to our favor thank you guys thank you for watching
don't thank you for following my channel all the time stay tuned because i'm gonna be bringing you more exciting videos thank you bye